Hey World Changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it is time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they're to the point. And at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can access more in-depth videos to help make math your jam. The focus question type for this week is, drum roll please, Equation Editor. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem of the week. It says, create a number that is in between 521,100 and 521,600 and less than 521,275. So use the number line to help you. And this right here is our equation editor. Now sometimes we'll use the equation editor tool to create equations. For this one, we just have to input a value. We'll get to that in a second. First, let's come up with the value that we need for our answer, right? That was our first read through. I'm going to look at it again. It says create a number that is in between 521,100, which is right there, and 521,600, which is right there. So the entire number line is right there. And less than 521,275. So where would that be? Well, that would be right about here, because this would be 521,250. So in between those two would be 521,275. So anything, anything less right here or less, but not quite the 521,100, would work, which means that we have a ton of answers that we can choose from, okay? So really, you could choose 521,101, 521,102, 521,103, all the way up to 521,274, because that's less than what we've got right there, okay? So that's the answer that I'm putting in. To do that, because really on a computer-based test, I might be able to type it in, but you would be clicking on these buttons right here. It kind of looks like a calculator, but it doesn't calculate. It just helps you to input your answer. So it's five, two, one, nothing for the comma, just continue with your value. So we would click one again, zero, and then one again to make that answer appear. So really, I'm actually going to change this to just be, and this is this is hard for me as a teacher because I'm always stressing those commas, but it would be something like this because as you can see, we don't have a comma in that equation editor. So just be careful. Again, just to clarify, 521,101 is not the one and only answer. There's a bunch of answer choices. Anything between 521,101 all the way to 521,274. Anything in that range of numbers would be a correct answer here. Again, without the comma. You don't have a way to put the comma in, so don't try. Don't put a decimal in. Just leave it as those six digits, okay? All right, fourth grade, that is your problem of the week. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So if you know that you would like some more in-depth videos, head on over to my website. The link is below or somewhere around this video. Video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to practice. You have got to put in the effort. I believe in you, and I will see you next time. Okay, world changers? Bye!